Alright, let's go through these new track pieces I got. Huh. That's not right. That's way too big. What's that for? Hey guys, Roy here. Uh, just uh, going through a box of stuff I got from Train World. Uh, I've uh, decided that I'm going to build a HO switching layout above my staging area. I have enough room and uh, I felt like it was a fun thing to do. Join the HO crowd, but I'm also staying in scale. But I figured I'd go through some of this new stuff I got. Uh, I went a little bit wild at uh, Train World. I got a bunch of stuff. So we're going to pull these out and go through them. So uh, first up is a gondola. It's an ATSF gondola. 40 foot. Uh, that's number one. Number two is uh, another gondola, a railgon from Mantua. It's another footer, 40 footer. Um, we got a boxcar here. It's a Golden West service boxcar. And don't worry, I'll, I'll open these up and show them in a clip at the end so you can see them all nicely. And uh, another Santa Fe boxcar. Now let's dig into some more cars over here. We got uh, another flat car here. This is a Santa Fe one. This will go with the other flat car that Jack Jack gave me. And then I got a pair of these uh, TTX uh, box cars, modern uh, high cube ones. T box. Keep going in here. We got uh, a couple of covered hoppers. Both of them are ATSF Santa Fe. A gray one and a sort of maroon, orangey red one. And then I got couple of uh, mechanical reefers, uh, Santa Fe one, and then a ARMN American Refrigerator Company one. And then you already saw the straight track that was under here. And then I got this uh, set of track here, which is uh, a couple of switches and a siding, stuff to do a siding. And then the main track pack that I got was this uh, really big box of track here. It's uh, that layout, although I won't be using it as a loop. I'll just be using the switches and straights and curves to make the switching setup. And then uh, the last two things in this box are the locomotives. And the first one I got was on sale. Wrapped in some paper here. Uh, it's a Bachman with uh, DCC and sound, but it's the uh, Santa Fe with the uh, blue and yellow. It's the older style blue and yellow that I also really like. Um, and then, this is the most expensive one. I got the uh, Athern Genesis uh, with Tsunami 2 sound. It's a uh, Santa Fe, uh, what is it, uh, GP7U in the war bonnet, blue and yellow. And I uh, can open this up to give you a peek at the inside, although it's uh, covered with a giant sticker. Um, 
anyway, like I said, I'm going to open this all up and uh, I'll do a clip at the end with uh, showing these outside of the box. I did get a few more HO things. Um, let me uh, clear all this stuff away and I'll do another clip showing a few of those. So hang on. Okay, I'm back. And these are some eBay items I got. Uh, these first couple here is an Intermountain Railway Company. It's an old box. But uh, this one is uh, something I think Pappy would like. It's a kit for a blue Pillsbury Hopper. I gotta put that together and his most recent video of or one of the most recent videos, by the time you see this, uh, shows building a couple of these older kits. And I got a second kit, and this one, Pappy will also like, because it's another Pillsbury Hopper car. <laughs> I just thought they were neat, and they weren't too expensive. I think they were about 10 bucks each, 10, 12 bucks each. Um, and then the, the other big thing I got from uh, eBay there's a couple of these uh, Proto 2000 locomotives. I got a GP92, and it's in the old ATSF Zebra paint scheme, I think they call it. And then I also got a GP7 in the same uh, Zebra paint scheme. And uh, both of those I have uh, decoders for. I'm still waiting on ordering the sound bug add-on for the decoders to make them both have sound as well as DCC. Um, but those are the items I've gotten so far for the HO setup. Okay, first up we got this uh, Bachman GP30. And uh, it's got the sound value sound, so it's not super great, but it's good enough. And uh, it's pulling the first set of five cars. So uh, here we go. Start it moving. We got the Santa Fe boxcar, Santa Fe hopper, the ATSF. Hopper, the Santa Fe Mechanical Reefer, and then the ARMN Mechanical Reefer. And uh, hang on a sec and I'll run the other train. Okay, here we have the uh, GP7U. It's an Athern Genesis with Tsunami 2, and let's uh, start it up. This one sounds a lot nicer, has a lot more to it. So, uh, I'll play the some sounds from this one, so it's got a you know, nice long horn, short horn, and then the bell, and then this one has some really nice slow speed movement, so speed step one, it starts going, nice little crawl speed. Go a little bit faster to get through these cars. So we got the Golden West Service box car. We got the ATSF flat car coming up here. And then we got the ATSF gondola followed up by the Railgon gondola with a charcoal load. And then bringing up the tail is uh, the two TTX uh, boxcars. 
excess height and whatnot. So let those finish going by. And there you go. So I got one more item to share here. I uh, showed this on Sparky Stream on Wednesday, but uh, figured I'd uh, put it on the track and uh, show it here. It's the uh, VCRR uh, GP15-1 number 1560. This is uh, in service in Oxnard in the area I model on my N-Scale layout and I couldn't resist getting it in HO and it's uh, another Atherin Genesis with Tsunami 2 sound and uh, it sounds really good so let's uh, fire that one up. So this one has uh, some nice sound features. I really like the bell on this one. Sounds like a real bell being hit by a hammer. The horn, nice good loud horn. And then it also has uh, a little beacon light on the top that you can start blinking. Hopefully you can see that. Um, there's also ditch lights uh, that you can turn off and on independently. You probably can't see them in this view, but I'll uh, I'll run the engine backwards and forwards a little bit so you can hear the engine going and whatnot. So let's go forward a little bit. change direction and I think you might be able to see the ditch lights now oh they're directional there we go I think you can uh, see them turning off and on, and it does have them on the back as well. Um, but yeah, this is a really beautiful loco, and it sounds amazing. I think I'm sold on the Tsunami 2 sound. Uh, those other locos, uh, I may end up having to switch out from the Digitrax decoders with the sound bugs to this, depending on how good they sound. Anyway, that's all I got for now, so thanks for watching.